Hello, this is New Vision TV. I'm Lynn Komjisha. King Oyo Nyimba Kabambe Guru the Fourth has turned 26, and it is eight years since he shared of the regents, who included President Yoweri Museveni, and started administering his kingdom directly. New Vision TV examines the challenges facing Toro and the direction the king is likely to take the kingdom if it is to thrive. Born on April 16th, 1982, Oyo ascended to the throne on the demise of his father, King Olimi III, in 1992 at the age of three, and ruled through regents who included his mother, Queen Best Kemigisa, paternal aunt, Princess Elizabeth Bagaya, and President Yoweri Museveni. He took full charge of his kingdom in 2010 on attaining majority age of 18. During Oyo's infancy, the Queen Mother, Best Kemgisa, who was a young widow, did a tremendous job not only to raise the two children, the second being Princess Komuntale, taking them to international schools, but also to provide for the kingdom. Queen Best built alliances, which included Libyan leader Kano Muammar Gaddafi, who financed construction work and refurbishing of various sites, including the main palace. After eight years in full control, King Oyo still has many years ahead and is required to do a lot for his kingdom. He already needs to do much more than what his disadvantaged mother, Queen Best, managed to achieve in a difficult situation. Besides the preservation of culture, the task at hand is to enhance the economic and social development of Toro, which is made up of Kabarore, Kamwenge, Chegwega, and Chenjoji districts, having lost Bundubujo, Kasese, and Intoroko with temporary abolition of kingdoms. Oyo attended the best schools locally and abroad. He has had international exposure and is better placed than his mother to build networks and make strategic plans for development. Toro has a big tourism potential, with some of Uganda's best tourism sites. There are many things Oyo can do, and he can count on many of his well-connected subjects whom he can organize to implement his strategic plans. These include top Kampala lawyer William Biarohanga, who is also the Attorney General of the Republic of Uganda and is a big investor in real estate and hospitality industries. His own aunt, Princess Elizabeth Bagaya, is an internationally recognized figure who raised enormous funds for the NRA's bush war in the early 1980s. Or you can also call upon his subject, Andrew Mwenda, a quick fixer who has done PR for some African presidents. The owners of the powerful Mukwano industrial empire also consider themselves Batoro from an Indian origin. Other subjects with major connections include Professor Edward Rugumayo and local government minister, Kano Tom Butime. At 26, Oyo is eligible for marriage. The ball is now clearly in King Oyo's court. How well will he play it? Moving on, Makere University has suspended Dr. Edward Chisuze, a senior administrative assistant in the academic registrar's department over sexual harassment. Chisuze was early this week exposed by a female student, a one Rachel Jaroge and Jerry, in his office. Following the expose, Professor William Bazeo, the acting vice chancellor, asked him to submit a written report about the allegations against him. In a letter signed by Professor Bazayo Chisuze has been suspended to allow smooth investigations into allegations of sexual harassment leveled against him. Dr. Chisuze is required to hand over all university property to the academic registrar. According to the directive, the academic registrar forwarded both Chisuze and Njeroga's letters to the acting vice chancellor's office, but management found his forwarded response to the allegation unsatisfactory and decided to set up an investigation committee to establish what exactly happened. And now a businesswoman from Bara Municipality has been charged with aggravated human trafficking of her employee in order to get his kidney for her ailing husband. Yesterday, Minya Gamba was committed to the High Court for trial by the Nakawa Court Grade 1 Magistrate Noah Sajabi. Sajabi ruled that since investigations into the case were complete, she should stand trial at the High Court. Prosecution alleges that in July 2014, Miria, by means of deception, 
organized, facilitated, prepared, and sent Brian Adinatoy to India, where her husband, John Rigamboa, was to undergo a kidney transplant operation. Miria, who owns a hardware business in Barra Municipality, is also accused of forging Adinatoy's birth certificate. She claimed the certificate had been issued by Barra Municipal Council, whereas not. On the birth certificate, Miria portrayed herself as the biological mother of Alinitwe. She is also a keys of forgery of a citizenship verification form B in the name of Brian Alinitwe. In sports news, stiff competition is expected as Uganda's professional golfers fight for a share of 10 million shillings from the Commercial Bank of Africa Captain's Prize Golf Tournament. The four-day event starts at Uganda Golf Club Coast Chitante today with the Pro-M category. The tournament offers cash in the first tournament for professional golfers this year. The annual tournament is expected to attract over 200 golfers. An opportunity to win a brand new Kia Sorento valid at over 200 million shillings for a hole-in-one on hole number nine is open to all golfers after an offer of the car once again from Kia Motors. CBA Bank Executive Director Joseph Mahugu said this was the first of many engagements the bank is to undertake, both as a way of growing the sport and giving back to their customers. The event yesterday was also attended by the Kia Motors Acting General Manager, Aitham Sultan. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series we take a look at Ngamba Island. Ngamba Island is home to many of Uganda's chimpanzees. Located 23 kilometers southeast of Entebbe on Lake Victoria, it is home to over 40 orphaned or rescued chimpanzees and can be accessed by boat. Located 23 kilometers southeast of Entebbe in Lake Victoria is Ngamba Island. It is home to over 40 orphaned or rescued chimpanzees. <laughs> Ngamba Island is reached by a boat ride. Ngamba Island is a project of the Chimpanzee Sanctuary and Wildlife Conservation Trust which was established in 1997. Once afoot on the island, the guides take you around the place explaining the history of the Chimpanzee Sanctuary. Visitors witness how chimps are being fed and how they live. One gets the feel of the wild and a close interaction with the chimpanzees that are separated from humans by a large electrified fence in case they turn aggressive. The island is a sort of a paradise in Lake Victoria for not only the chimpanzees but even the visitors. For more Pile of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sunday Vision, is also another home of adventures. So grab your copy every Sunday for Pile of Africa stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go, by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.